Hello friends, it's Armstrong here from Adai Miniatures and today I'm gonna be defiling this here lovely <sighs> Chevrolet. Yeah, you know how much I love Chevrolets and I was gushing over this one in the last video. Yeah, and it is probably, you know, the epiphany of a American looking car for me. It's just gorgeous. It's brilliant the color is what I really like yeah of course it isn't yellow so <laughs> yeah but as well you know the, the kind of deep cherry color and all even all of the markings you know on this car are just working very well so what I gonna do I ain't gonna be even you know touching this with this assembly paint job gonna be minimum I already picked up some weapons uh, that gonna go on it and I gonna actually listen to our friendly neighborhood cat for once and I'm gonna paint everything before attaching it to the car just to avoid uh, paint spillage as much as possible yeah so I will show you what I have picked where I'm gonna place it then I'm gonna get into the painting it of it and then just attach it all and do a little bit of weathering and we're gonna be done this probably gonna be very short video because I'm assuming that this is gonna be able to fit in like you know 10 ish 15 minutes of uh, screen time but still you know i don't want to damage this car i like it too much and i'm thinking actually about buying a truck you know just to raise the cars from time to time so i want to actually keep that one uh, in one piece yeah and with spinning wheels and everything so i'm gonna try to avoid damage as much as possible a little bit of weathering ain't gonna hurt it yeah it's gonna just add the character to it but no rust and avoiding paint and damage as much as possible. Yeah, so I'll be right back, you know, on the table. And here we are on the table. You can see, of course, this lovely car. Yeah, so I what I want to do, I want to give him an oil spiller, a machine gun on the front, yeah, and this flare dispenser, or, you know, maybe the rocket launcher on the roof. Yeah, so I want to keep the general shape of the car unchanged, just add a little bit of details. I ain't gonna be painting windows, I ain't gonna be covering them. Just trying to get as close to this as it is right now. Yeah, no, no massive changes, no over painting or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna black bomb those pieces. Yeah, of course, trying to avoid the uh, contact points. So the buttons of them gonna be not painted and I'm gonna be right back uh, after I have it all black bombed. So here we are, all of the pieces are already black bombed and somewhat dry, I hope. And yeah, let's start with some dry brushing of a metallic paint. I have in here bolt gun metal, yeah, it's, it's quite watered down, so I'm assuming that I have to get rid of a lot of it first. And you know, since I have this on the toothpick, it should be much cleaner than usually. And... Yeah, of course, you know, the black paint didn't go into all holes as it should be, so there are still some blue showing through from the original resin, but what can we do? We're gonna leave it as is. So, first weapon finished, the second one, I left a little bit more of the metallic paint and it's so much easier to do. And second one finished. Now the third one, uh, I actually you can see that I have a yellow paint prepared in here. So what I want to do, I want to paint it in yellow. Because it is, you know, a fuel slash oil drum, whatever. Yeah, I think that, well, it is an oil drum. Yeah, so I want to have it covered in yellow. It doesn't have to be perfect, just yellow enough. If I want it to be perfect, I would probably try a beige base. Color, but yeah. Like, I think that the original car is good enough. Well, good enough, it's freaking gorgeous. Yeah, so that's why I don't want to do uh, a lot of, you know, 
changes to it that's why I'm just going very gently with all of the mm, changes but you know in here this is attachment it might be you know repainted and uh, redone a couple of times or maybe even repurposed a couple of times before it actually happened to be attached to this beauty so no, it doesn't have to be perfect I just want it to be good enough for that car and of course metallic paint I want to add some of it to the pipe because the pipe I want to still have metallic yeah the same with the base in here uh, as you may notice you know I did actually cut off the kind of protruding re uh, resin which was kind of defending the oil dropper from the sides I just simply didn't like the look of it so I decided to just cut it off and of course the letters in here can be just pulled out as well with a little bit of paint so there we have it let's just leave it to dry yeah and now I need to wash this brush as it is a detail one and I don't want it to get destroyed and I tend to wreck the brushes way too often and now of course my two weathering colors and believe me I'm gonna try to be very sparse with those as I don't want this car you know to lose its uh, substantial charm to me yeah like I said this I, it doesn't feel like you know converting it feels more like defiling this car so yeah <laughs> orange in here I think that that should be just fine so let's start just adding the weathering to the front yeah. and you know like normally I would just swap swap the car with the brush but you can see that I'm trying to really limit the amount of the dirt it's on it like you know I could probably just cover the hot wheels mark with the dirt yeah but try to limit the amount as normally I'm I tend to overdo this stuff yeah and like I said I love the look of this car so going overboard with it would be a little bit of a Hmm, how to say it <laughs> crime of passion <laughs> yeah so just you know very gentle weathering this time around and like I said I want to leave the decals because I actually enjoy how it looks yeah so just a little bit more on the front yeah in here we have a little bit And I'm gonna have to look for more of this car yeah and similar you know like this kind of bulky heavy uh, American style cars I love how they look and they just feel right okay and I still have just a tiniest bit of the weathering powder yeah so let's just apply some of it on the car Yeah, this color is really running low on me so I just leave it with a little bit of dusting on it yeah I think that this is good enough weathering I'll just drop this brush in here this and now where is my super glue that I was using here oh now the moment that I was a little bit worried about you know attaching all of the weapons I just like I said I didn't want to damage the look of the car so it's gonna be really the moment of truth so removing any dust from the top here and just attaching it in the middle 
just up here uh, and here as well there is some some weathering powder so I'm just gonna remove it this yellow paint isn't dry just yet but I still can attach it just need to be a little bit more careful so let's just remove the extra super glue there we go and just a blob of super glue grabbed by the pipe and I ain't gonna be attaching it in the middle I want the oil pipe to actually be sticking out of the car yeah, on the side so there we go a little bit uh, disbalanced yeah and now this weapon gonna bring the car back into the balance I think that the only thing I could probably do on this car is to put some sort of like metal grading on the front window but like I said I want to keep it as original as possible as I really love it yeah and here we go it's done yeah not too much weathering not too much uh, madness generally done to it yeah, it is a the, the car by itself is a basically pure perfection in my eyes yeah so what I'm gonna do right now just throw it on the spin table and see how it looks yeah so give me a sec so here we have it on the spin table I think they turn out just gorgeous yeah the moderate amount of weathering really works of course the yellow oil uh, spiller in the back is kind of meh yeah but generally I just wanted to do something that wouldn't be extremely over the top but still you know have the spirit of both the original car and gaslands in it and I think that this just capture it yeah, it's it's going on my favorite cars shelf anyway I just I love how it turned out I love the general car and like I said I'm gonna probably have to take get about 10 or 20 more of those because oh, it's just brilliant yeah I can see you know just fielding the entire teams of this car and I would still be extremely happy about it yeah, but it is it for today, so if you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe, share with your friends, family and whoever else wants to watch it. And of course, everybody, have a great day. Bye.